This is a Tesla Model Y right Juniper. Street. I'm doing a 48 hour test drive. Uh, I'm testing this car as a robo taxi. I would say 90% of the time it is served as a robo taxi. So door to door service, no intervention on my part. Uh, I'm in Northwest Los Angeles. And I'll do a quick compare. I'll try to make this video as short as possible. I'll do a quick compare to Waymo, which is giving me a warning there. I'll do a quick compare to Waymo, which is Google's uh, robotaxi service in Los Angeles. Uh, Waymo, by the way, does not operate here in Northwest Los Angeles and does not operate in, a, you know, most of Los Angeles County. There are only select areas in uh, Los Angeles where it works. For example, I've used it in the Century City Beverly Hills, West Hollywood area. Now, Waymo is very, is, is amazing. Um, the first time I used Waymo about a year ago, it was, you know, blew my mind. Uh, but this, this Tesla Model Y Juniper with full self-driving version 13 is also blowing my mind. And, uh, it is a robotaxi. This is a robotaxi, folks. Um, you're going to have to intervene occasionally, but in 1,000 feet, turn right. <laughs> that's not a big Avenue. deal. Um, I would say that people who are waiting for a robotaxi, uh, if you have a Tesla and you have and you subscribe to full self-driving, $99 a month. Now turn right onto Wilbur Avenue. Uh, you have essentially robotaxi already. And so getting back to the comparison to Waymo, Waymo is is, is amazing, but uh, I'm having a lot of trouble. I've used Waymo many times, uh, but I'm now having trouble really seeing the difference between Tesla FSD version 13 on a Juniper Model Y and Waymo. There isn't a lot of difference. Uh, I would say, speaking, I wouldn't say this is um, authoritative, it's more anecdotal, but uh, I would say that Waymo has a little bit more confidence and it's a little bit more aggressive. And that's because every square inch of where it operates is mapped out. Uh, this is re relying on neural nets. <clears throat> but that said, uh, in 1,000 feet, turn left onto Rinaldi Street. This is incredibly, very impressive. And uh, it performs as a robotaxi. So I've had it for almost, I'm getting to the end of my 48 hours now. Now turn left onto Rinaldi Street. And um, I've gone door to door several times, or more than several times where I get in the car, I punch in the address, and the, and the car drives me to the destination. And I don't do anything but monitor the drive. I'm, I'm, I'm essentially a passenger, and that's what RoboTaxi is. So, the upshot of this video is, uh, I would say this is now on par or close to being on par with Waymo. Uh, again, as I said, Waymo is a little bit more confident, a little more aggressive in a good way. Um, you might say bold. Uh, I would say that on this car, a Model Y Juniper with version 13 of full self-driving, it's a little more cautious, but that's fine. That's fine. Um, it's fine with me. Um, a, a few a little, a few uh, minor shortcomings. It goes, sometimes it goes slow in certain um, areas near my home. Uh, I think it believes the speed limit is 25 miles per hour, which it, it's, it's not, but somehow it misinterprets. <clears throat> and no one drives 25 miles per hour in California, certainly Los Angeles. So, um, you do have to, you can, 
can just in 500 feet turn right onto Corbin Avenue. Sit, you can just sit there and, and let it drive, of course. But I typically inter intervene. I now turn right onto Corbin Avenue. So that's that's one case where I've intervened. Um, I've intervened also in some uh, cases where it was taking a stupid route, um, a route that I would have not taken. And I just said, no, I don't want to go this way. So I took control. Um, but I could have just gone along with the route and I would have gotten there maybe two minutes later or, you know, so it's not a big deal at all. Um, and just as a quick aside, a Google Maps, um, so it has some of that Google Maps itis, if you will. Um, Google Maps in downtown Los Angeles is horrible. It'll take you on the worst possible route uh, often. So there's a little bit of that here, but but um, so far I haven't really experienced much of that. Like I said, in most cases it's been door to door. So the upshot of this video, um, I'm sitting here, I haven't done a thing except um, no feet on the pedals, no hands on the steering wheel. Um, this is really good, right up there with Waymo, and I, I'll, I'll add one thing. No system, no, no ADAS, no advanced driver assist system is flawless. It's going to make mistakes, and sometimes it might make a dangerous mistake. I've, I've used GM's Super Cruise extensively. Uh, GM has been very gracious to send me car after car after car, uh, electric vehicle with um, Super Cruise. And Super Cruise um, is for highway driving. So what Super Cruise is, you do local driving yourself, highway driving, Super Cruise will handle the highway driving. But Super Cruise makes mistakes too. And I've there have been a couple of instances where it's made some pretty dangerous mistakes. But, you know, no system is false enough flawless no human is of course flawless and my argument is uh, in for example in Los Angeles where you have all excuse me in Los Angeles where you have all these distracted drivers in 1,000 feet turn right onto Mason Avenue who are texting and driving or looking down at their device and driving and I see it every single day uh, those people are a danger not a now turn right Tesla onto Mason Model Avenue. Y with full self-driving. That's not the danger. What you may read in the media about Tesla full self-driving, you know, it's uh, it's not ready. It's, you know, the robo-taxi is gonna be a disaster. Whatever the latest car blog says, um, the latest, you know, quote unquote, Tesla disaster. <clears throat> um, it's not true. Um, again, it will make mistakes, but so does GM Super Cruise, so does Ford's Blue Cruise, so does Rivian's Highway Assist. Those are all ADAS. I've used them all. They make mistakes. Usually they're not, uh, you know, dangerous um, mistakes, but occasionally any ADAS will make mistakes. So that's my In short 1, review. Feet, your destination will be on the right. Okay, that's my uh, review of. Tesla full self-driving version 13 on a Model Y Juniper.